Hello. Good morning, Event Santa Cruz. It's your local nomad in residence, Emma. Today I'm here at Flux Acupuncture Lounge. It's one of the West Side Santa Cruz's hidden secrets. It's community acupuncture. Come on, let's go check it out. Ready for a session? You ready for a session? Yeah. Okay. Um, do, do you want just a general treatment today, or yeah. anything special? No, just a general treatment, a little bit of preventative stuff. Why don't we go inside? Okay. Come on right. back here. Great. We'll grab a seat up right there. Um, Caitlin, I've been to lots of acupuncture places all over the world, right? I've traveled all over, and I usually go in, and it's an individual acupuncture. I haven't really seen anything like flux, like this, you know, community acupuncture space. Is this a new thing? Like, is this something super California and super new? It's been around for a little bit. It started up in Portland. Um, there's many clinics like ours right now all over the United States. You can check out our board out, out front and have little pins where they all are. Yeah. Um, and um, it's growing in popularity because just because the ease of it, the access to it, it makes it much more affordable for people um, as opposed to paying $75 to $120 a treatment. We have our sliding scale of 20 to 40 dollars, which just makes it so much easier because it's really about getting treatment. You need to get treatment regularly if you're going to see any results in the end. And one of the other things that has often been a case when I've gone to acupuncturists around the world is um, kind of have to get naked or like mostly undressed. Is flux a clothing optional space? Well, we tell people to wear loose fitting clothing, so we could we mostly need them below the elbow, below the knees. Um, it's a lot more accessible to some really great points that have a lot more energy. And um, we can basically treat everything just from the access of those points. I also do a lot of ear points. It's great, you can map out the whole body right on the ear. Some head points, and it works. So I don't need to get naked? No, 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 no getting naked. Just, <laughs> just letting me have access to the feet and hands and things like that. Makes All right. Easy. That's awesome. Um, all right, let's, so I come regularly. Again, that's one of the reasons why I love you guys is mm -hmm. that I can come in a preventative manner. Do you know that like, I rarely get sick and I haven't been sick in almost forever? That's fine. And yes. ever since I started acupuncture, it um, has really helped boost my immunity and my immune system, um, and I love it. But occasionally, you know, when my anxiety is really high or because I was running and I had plantar fasciitis and my foot was hurting, yeah. um, or because I, you know, do so much and get so much done, I just need a moment to like relax, or you know, a minute or fifty sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the general, like, top three reasons why you get folks in, um, and how long do they stay, and how often, you know, they come? Kind of give me a sense. Um, we see a variety of things. I mean, a lot of people come here for pain, pain in their elbow, back pain, knee pain, ankle pain foot pain. Um, we also see people for digestive issues, for women's health issues, for migraines, for, you know, it's all over the place. And um, it depends on what we're treating and the person, how they react to it, but we don't, it can take like a few treatments, can take 10 treatments, depends. And then there's that regular checking in, making sure you're keeping up your health kind of treatments. Um, and do you get more, like, so I consider myself an acupuncture veteran because yes. I've like you know been doing it for a long time and all over but you know I have lots of friends who have never done it mm -hmm. and you know maybe they're a bit intimidated do you get more of the folks like me that are veterans or do you get more people who are like this is their first time trying acupuncture both both Definitely. okay great there's and people that like to tell me what they like and then there's people that have no idea what to expect and and it's wonderful to treat them all I mean um, it's great introduction and it's also just great to get treatment so if this was my very first time getting acupuncture, what points, if I had no idea, right, like I'm a little bit stressed, I'm a little bit like, I don't sleep so well, um, and uh, let's start with that. And, mm -hmm. and my, my neck hurts, mm -hmm. all right? So I'm like brand new, what points would you do? Um, well, it depends. I mean, there's just some really good points just for general health. There's some ones that just help relieve stress, you know, there's great neck points, um, there's this great point in the hand that we use that treats neck neck pain. So um, you can treat my neck on my hand? Yes. Alright, okay. And, um, you know, uh, there, some people will just come in and say, I don't know what's wrong with me, I just want a treatment. And sometimes I'll feel a pulse, so maybe I'll feel an irregularity 
there, I'll, maybe I look at the tongue, there's something that I see there, and I might tread that, or there's just some points that are great for boosting the immune system, kind of balancing everything out. Brilliant, all right. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. don't feel it. I know everybody always thinks that it's this like big massive point but although that said some points. There's some points that um, will, you'll feel a little bit of a pinch. I mean de definitely the ones um, more on the the toes or on the hands but um, in general, generally you will not feel anything. Sometimes you feel a little pinch and it will, should go away. If it doesn't you just let me know and I'll adjust. And one of the things, as a, as a veteran, one of the things I understand is that often if there is a bit of a tender point or a sore point, that's an indicator that something might not be flowing as well mm -hmm. or kind of the energy is a bit stuck or it's needed, yeah. right? So, exactly. I mean, I don't want to say no pain, no gain and because it's generally not painful, but it's at the same time an interesting speak, like piece of the puzzle. Um, and the know. sensations you feel while resting vary. I mean, sometimes people will say they feel like they're floating or feel more heavy or feel a tingling or a numbness or a, just things are moving through waves. And some people rest for 30 minutes, but some people, I have some people come in and rest for a couple hours just because that's what they feel that they need. And I'm fine with that. That's so as, as long as people are here for a half hour, however long they want to rest, I'm good. So you actually have people who come in for that long? Yes. And how long? I personally could not do that. No. But <laughs> Some people, that's what they want. Right. That's what they need. Yeah. You know? um, and then there's some people that are more on the deficient side that I, I say, you know, that might be too long for you. But um, for the most part, that's what they need and that's what they can have here because um, we have the space for people to rest. And how long have you had the space? The space, um, 2012, we opened up. All right, so for seven years. Yeah. Wow, and how many practitioners do you have? Uh, right now, there are, um, let's see, four, seven, because we also have another location in Watsonville. You have a location in Watsonville? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And so, that is um, seven out of all both locations. And your hours are on your website, on I know website. that, and on Google. So one of the things I do is I go onto Google and I see what the hours are on Google. Mm -hmm. um, but give us a general idea of when you're open and what. Generally we're open um, from 10 a.m. until uh, 6.30 here on the west side, and generally 2 to 6 over in Watsonville. But there are a couple exceptions to that. Um, the weekends were generally open only in the morning and then on Wednesday. You feel okay? Yeah, I feel great. Do you need a blanket or an eye pillow or anything? Yes, please. I'd like a blanket and an eye pillow. Okay. And also the heater on my feet. Thank you for visiting Flex Acupuncture Lounge. We hope to see you in soon. Take care. Bye-bye.